Welcome to Picks on the Bluffs NCAA coverage of Week 10. I am your host, Richard Reed, alongside my co-host... Slam and Sam! I was let, again with that Slam and Sam. But, uh, it's Week 10. Georgia, Florida was last weekend. Yeah, and we really stunk it up, too, so... We, we didn't Congrats to the dogs. Uh, what else was last weekend? Let's see. Clemson had a good Thursday. We finally broke our Thursday night record. Jinx. Yeah. Uh, Alabama won, as always. South Carolina barely won. They got out of a tough shot with Tennessee. Yeah, that, that boy, uh, Latimer, or Lattimore, man, he was lucky on that. That was an ugly, ugly uh, injury there. Yeah. Hope he gets he, better. Uh, yeah, he uh, ended up dislocating his knee, but he twisted that thing all around in that play. Uh, here's your the standing so far through week nine of the NCAA. Our remaining first place leader, Annette Todd, has 201, so she has broken the 200 win streak. Well, 200 wins so far. Second place, Sam, with 199, not 200 yet. It'll be next week. Well, obviously. Uh, third place, John Todd with 197, still in the race. Uh, fourth place, Matt Miller, 195. A tie for fifth with me and Amber Maynard with 194. And last place is Bobby Sprout with 192. I tell you, she don't take her picks from me, that's for sure. Well, obviously not, but... Let's go ahead and get to your picks. Well, our picks, not your picks. Your picks don't count. They uh, count, yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, first off, we have no Thursday night ranked match. Well, the Thursday night game is not ranked, but it's we, we're we picking it still. But we'll get to it later. So the first ranked match, Alabama number one at number five, LSU. The big ranked match, SDC, whatever. Yeah, Alabama eight and zero, and LSU seven and one. It's going to be a good matchup, but I still think Alabama is just going to uh, just going to come out the winner on this. It may be closer than everybody thinks. Uh, I mean, SEC is great, great. You know, lost the word yeah. I was thinking. It's great conference. Uh, yep. As we saw LSU South Carolina, nobody thought LSU was going to beat South Carolina, but they did. But I'm still picking Alabama. Uh, next up, number 24 Oklahoma State at number two Kansas State. Oklahoma State coming in at five and two against Kansas State, who is eight and zero. Uh, I'm going Kansas State. Uh, yeah, I like the power of Kansas State. They shown I mean they've up they've done some good things this year and well I think they'll can take care of Oklahoma State they took care of Oklahoma now they're gonna take their state counterpart down yeah. <laughs> uh, Pittsburgh at number three Notre Dame Pittsburgh coming in at four and four against an eight no Notre Dame I'm taking a fighting Irish it's a, this is a no-brainer. Notre Dame is finally getting back to how they were in the good old days. Yep. So Notre Dame wins this. Uh, if USC didn't win, if USC didn't have lost last week, this would have been a better game. But number four, Oregon at number seventeen, USC. Oregon coming in at eight and zero, and USC at six and two. I'm taking the Ducks on this one. Uh, let's go quack quack with Oregon. Even though they should get some a fashion sense, like I've said every week. Uh, another SEC matchup: Ole Miss at number six, Georgia. Ole Miss going against a number six, Georgia at seven and one. I'm taking the dogs on this one. Yeah, I like like the dogs. Let's see. I don't, I'm not even going to try to reach for my hat. I got up there, but Georgia wins. Uh, Missouri at number seven, Florida. Missouri coming in at four and four, going against a seven and one Florida. I'm taking the Gators. 
Uh, Missouri actually coming off a win. Uh, mm -hmm. Their first SEC win. But I don't think they'll get their second against Florida. Uh, Temple at number 10, Louisville, who has finally gotten up in the top 10. 3-4 and four, Temple going against an 8-0 and o Louisville. I'm taking Louisville on that. Yeah, I mean, Louisville, they, one of those teams that stayed near the bottom and now finally 8-0. They're they the finally top. playing a, a, some teams that uh, can move them up the rankings now. Yeah, well, except for Temple. I mean, Temple's nobody. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Arizona State at number eleven, Oregon State. Arizona State five and three going against a six and one Oregon State. I'm taking Oregon State on this one. Uh, I like Oregon State, but you may have to watch for an upset alert here. Yeah. Uh, number twelve, Oklahoma at Iowa State. Uh, Oklahoma coming in at five and two against an Iowa State, which is five and three. I'm taking Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, Oklahoma is my pick too. I guess you could say upset alert here too, but Oklahoma still wins. ACC matchup number thirteen, Clemson at Duke. Seven and one Clemson going against a six and three Duke. I'm taking Clemson. Yeah, this is. Actually, shocking. Uh, the next two games Clemson has are away as ACC matchups. Duke is actually going to a bowl this year. Yeah. But I think Clemson will, you know, I think my team Clemson will win. Uh, number 14, Stanford at Colorado. Stanford coming in at 6-2 and two, going against a 1-7 and seven Colorado. I'm going with Stanford on this one. Yeah, I uh, I like their trees. Stanford wins. All right, this should this is about the closest ranked matchup there is. Number sixteen Texas A&M against number fifteen Mississippi State. Uh, Texas A&M six and two against a seven and one Mississippi State. I'm going to go with uh, Mississippi State on this one. Yeah, that's who I picked. Mississippi State. Uh, they just released their. Uh, pictures of their new helmets they're going to wear in the Egg Bowl this year, and they're <laughs> kind of ugly to me. But yeah, I bet you go to Google and see it, and see for yourself if you like them or not. Uh, number twenty-three, Texas at number eighteen, Texas Tech. Texas coming in at six and two, going against a six and two Texas Tech. Uh, it's it's going to be a good game. Uh, I'm taking Tech on this one only because it's at home. So maybe they can get the home field advantage. So. You know, this was a hard one to pick. Uh, Texas, I mean, I hadn't seen much of Texas this year, so I went ahead and picked Tech. Uh, San Diego State at number 19, Boise State. San Diego State coming in at 6-3, and three, going against a 7-1 and one Boise State. Uh, I'm going Boise State on this. They're on the blue field. Let's go Boise State. Yep. Uh, number 20, Nebraska at Michigan State. 6-2 and two, Nebraska going against a 5-4 and four Michigan State. I'm taking Nebraska on this one. Yeah, I like Nebraska. I think, did Michigan State beat Wisconsin last week or did they? I don't remember on that one. Yeah, was, I can't remember, but, uh. Yeah, I like Nebraska. TCU at number 21, West Virginia. TCU at 5-3 and three against a 5-2 and two West Virginia. I'm taking West Virginia at home. Yeah, I like West Virginia. If Geno Smith will start playing again, they'll get, you know, they'll get wins like they did at the start of the season, 70-point wins. Uh, number 22, Arizona at UCLA. Five and three Arizona going against a six and two UCLA. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Arizona on this one. Yeah, I, I don't think UCLA is doing much. I like Arizona in this game. Uh, and finally UTSA at number twenty-five Louisiana Tech. Who is UTSA? AskESPN.com. All right. They're coming in at five and three, going against Louisiana Tech at seven and one. I'm taking Tech all the way on this. 
Just because I don't know who UTSA is, I'm going Tech. Right. All right, finally to our quick picks. Finally, this is the Thursday night matchup. Virginia Tech at Miami of Florida. Virginia Tech at 4-4 four and four against Miami, who's 4-4. Four and four. I'm taking the Hurricanes on this one. Yeah, maybe they'll be powered up by Hurricane Sandy. Yep. You'll never know. Uh, Georgia Tech at my at Georgia Tech at Maryland. Tech coming in at three and five, going against a four and four Maryland. I'm taking the Turpins on this one. Yeah, Georgia Tech just not doing what they should be doing. Maryland wins. Uh, Virginia at North Carolina State. Virginia two and six, going against a North Carolina State at five and three. I'm taking the Tar Heels. You mean the Wolfpack? Wolfpack, North Carolina, yes. Uh, that's who I'm picking. Virginia is just two and six. There's no way they're going to beat North Carolina State. Boston College at Wake Forest. Boston College at two and six, going against a four and four Wake Forest. I'm taking Wake Forest. Another two and six team in Boston College. I got to pick Wake Forest over them. Uh, Vanderbilt at Kentucky. Vanderbilt, 4-4, four and four, going against 1-8 and eight, Kentucky. I tell you, Kentucky has just been an embarrassment to SEC, but I'm going to take Vanderbilt. I mean, I mean, they played Georgia good. That's all you can say is what they yeah. did, but Vanderbilt wins. Troy at Tennessee. Troy coming in at 4-4, four and four, going against a 3-5 and five Tennessee. I'm going to go with Tennessee on this one. Yeah, Tennessee looked good last week. I think they will... They can kill Troy. Tulsa at Arkansas. Tulsa seven and one going against Arkansas three and five. I'm taking Tulsa on this. Taking Tulsa over Arkansas. I'm going Arkansas. Okay. Uh, I mean, they only lost by field goal last week to Ole, yeah, Ole Miss. But yeah, I like Arkansas. And finally, to end it all off, New Mexico State at Auburn. This is the battle of who sucks the worst on this one. Um, New Mexico coming in at 1-7 and seven versus Auburn, who is 1-7. and seven. Um, I'm going to go with Auburn on it. Maybe they can pull out a victory there. Uh, like you said, I'm going with Auburn just because of the home field advantage. But, uh, that's it for Week 10, our picks. Uh, like our Facebook, and you'll see the standings probably Tuesday. Uh, all right, this is Slam and Sam out. Happy Halloween. Happy Peace Halloween. out. Yep. Let's do all that.